Hey guys, my name is Doug with OEMAutopartsCo.com. Today we're working on a Dodge Challenger and I'll be demonstrating on how to install a MyGig radio. If you don't have a Challenger, don't worry. Once you remove your vehicle's bezel, the installation process will be the same. Most bezels are held in by clips and maybe a screw or two. In this particular situation, the Challenger is only held in by clips. You could go to our website to see your vehicle's specific installation procedure. To remove your bezel, use a trim stick or a flathead screwdriver and pry around the perimeter of the bezel. And set it to the side. Then, get a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the four screws that hold in your radio. Once you remove the four screws, you can then pull out your radio and unplug the connectors that's in the rear. If you've received an RHB radio that has the word anti-theft on the front, your code will be on top of the radio. To install it, just plug the connectors back in. Your main radio harness connector, Uconnect connector, if so equipped. If you have a rear camera or rear entertainment, that connector will be plugged in there. Your AM FM radio and your Sirius satellite radio. This also acts as a GPS antenna with the 430N RHB. Then just reinstall your four screws. Now that we've snapped the bezel back in place, let's take a look at some of the features of the RHB radio. When you first turn it on, your home screen will show AM, FM, and satellite radio. If you wish to activate your satellite radio, Select Menu, Subscription, and give the Sirius agent the ID number. Once you're parked outside and your, your satellite radio antenna has clear sight of the sky, you'll be able to receive that signal. If your vehicle is equipped with Uconnect, it'll plug and play with this radio. You have your voice recognition button here to give it commands, and your phone button here to initiate and to end phone calls. You can adjust the equalizer by pressing the audio hard key, equalizer soft key, and adjust it accordingly. You can add files to this radio as it does have an internal hard drive. Select My Files, My Music, add either through the front USB port or by a CD by inserting it behind the screen. To utilize the navigation feature, simply drive the vehicle around for about four or five minutes to link to the GPS satellites. Once you've done so, you can access the navigation by pressing the nav soft key in the top right corner. Here, you can enter your destination, or view the map. Another thing that's really cool about the RHB is that it will tell you the speed limit on the given road you're driving. If you wish to subscribe to the Sirius Travel Link, it'll give you some cool information. Press the menu, Travel Link. It'll give you forecasts, weather reports, ski information, local fuel prices, movie times, sports scores. Just call Sirius to enable that. Press the SAT, Menu, Subscription, and it will give you the Sirius Travel Link ID. The RHB radio also features a built-in CD DVD player. To access it, press the load hard key and insert your disc, which is a DVD in this case. Once loaded, it will automatically play once you press the view video button. Keep in mind, we do all sorts of upgrades to these radios from front cameras to rear cameras, side cameras, digital TV input, iPhone, iPod input, um, rear entertainment, you name it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please contact us. Go to our website, oemautopartsco.com, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you and enjoy your new touchscreen radio.